Good morning, you guys. My hair is kind of crazy, and I kind of feel gross, not gonna lie. So we're going to the beach where supposedly seals hang out. So I'm gonna go take a beach shower, and we might go see some seals if they're there. Hopefully they're there. The park in here is horrible. Like. For Vancouver being the biggest city in the world, every beach I've been to has a maximum parking of like 50 cars. 50 cars. I'm going to guess there's like 4 million people in this city. Maybe not all of them have cars. But 50 cars per beach? This is nuts. So I had to drive some like overflow parking, which has like 13 spots, and it's way far from the beach. And you still have to pay for parking. So I'm not going to pay for parking, because if I got to walk 10 minutes to the beach and then 10 minutes back to the car, why should I have to pay for that? So I'm not going to pay. And if I get a ticket, well, then I should have paid. So hopefully I don't get a ticket. I don't plan on being there long. I'm just going to kind of like dunk and then we'll be back. But I did see people like scuba diving, which was cool. And this other people were like swimming across the ocean. Gnarly stuff goes on in these provinces of mountain. I actually have a new parking idea. So I'm not, I'm still not going to pay. But I have this old parking ticket from like a couple days ago because I paid to stay at that beach. My idea is I'm gonna rip it right right like this. It's like the parking ticket's this long. I'm gonna rip it here so it's this long, and then I'm gonna put it in like on my dash in a way that it looks like it slipped down to there. So if they do walk by, they'll be like, oh, this guy's good, because I'll rip the date off. But, oh, this guy's good until like three o'clock because he paid for five hours or whatever. So hopefully the officers don't like check the plates or care that much. But this is this is the actual length. It's gonna like look like it fell underneath and they'll still see that I have until three o'clock or 3.47 or whatever. I think this is gonna work. You're gonna tell me. It looks like it just slipped under there. And then you can like check the plate. That 100% looks like it just slipped. I'm gonna be good. Also like it's 10 a.m. on a Sunday. So what officers are really like perusing. Who really cares, man? It's Sunday, chill day. Get the day off work. I would just spend the whole day looking for tickets like what a lame job bro honestly if your job's handing out parking tickets get a new job i'm not kidding get a new one that's probably the most boring job i've ever heard and it's a job where you can guarantee that no one will like you so i've gotten two tickets in my life and today will not be the day i get a third or at least it better not it's my last thing about the paid parking but this is literally like a, ch a children's park like also as, as well as the beach so you're paying making parents pay to take their kids to the park I don't know, I just think it's so dumb. Like, there's so many other ways you could be making money. Are you gonna charge me to put my car in the grass? Not even, I'm in the dirt, bro. I don't even get the, the luxury of the grass, so. Anyways, that's enough of that, though. Let's go swim. I feel like after I swim, I'm kind of obligated to go up there, so. Let's do that after, and then I'll dry off as I walk. Oh, dude, I thought someone just jumped off. It was like a bird, like flying down. I thought someone literally jumped off the top of that thing. Over there. Switch to the iPhone because it's semi-waterproof. It's cold, but I've been getting used to the cold water. Not used to the rocks on the feet, though. Ow. Ow. We're dunking. All right, I'm going to swim around a little more and then we're going to go on top of that thing and try and find some seals. Wet slides are definitely not the right foot attire for climbing this thing. But we're still up though. Halfway. There's like wicked mansions here. Imagine having a spot on the Pacific Ocean. Like... Those places are gnarly. They're sick, but also like, you should see the laneways, dude. The laneway for those are like 45 degree angles. You gotta have a four by four truck just to park in your own laneway. So, pros and cons, but the views are definitely a big pro. These rich people also drive like supercars, so I don't know how they park. Like, how do you get a supercar up these crazy hills? Maybe I should get the paddleboard out and go chill out there like those two. 
Nah, paddleboards aren't even a paddleboard anymore. Certified surfboard now. We surf that thing good. <laughs> you can see the scuba diving crew down there. Like right there. The crazy thing is though, when I was swimming, like when I went to go swim, the rocks were nuts there. And I seen a scuba diver literally like doing like rolls. I was like, dude, do you not get cut up? Like your scuba gear and stuff? I don't know, I'm not a diver. One day. Well, this is the top. And this is the view. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Doesn't look like there's any seals around here today. I'm like looking all along the water and the edge and stuff like that. Not pulling up. So, I'll try and find some sea life, some aquatic life another day. I also want to fly on one of those. I want to fly in a water plane one day. Can you see it? I can't. Not right there. I want to fly in a water plane one day. I think it'd be so sick. Like the takeoff and the landing, I think it'd be like the coolest thing on a water plane. Just like, I don't even know. You, you know what I'm saying, it'd be cool. So, yeah, no aquatic life right now. Gonna head back down in my wet sandals and hopefully not slip. The sign said minimal offense for disturbing wildlife is half a million dollars. Half a mil, what's considered disturbing wildlife? Like if I kill it, sure. That's like, that's like 20 grand. But half a mil is crazy, bro. What if I just like play music and he doesn't like the song? That's disturbing in a way. I don't know if you caught that, but in British Columbia, they have like little things in the back of their cars, either a little N magnet or an L magnet. And that's for like new drivers. So if you're a new driver, you have an N. And if you have your learner's permit, you get an L. So something I didn't know, but I found it pretty interesting. I thought it was like a parking thing because I've seen all these cars with these different uh, tags on the back. I'm like, what do those mean? Come to find out, it's so that if someone cuts you off, they have one of those on, you're not supposed to get too mad because they're kind of new to this whole driving thing. And I'm tired because I'm doing my whole big walk back to the car because I couldn't park here. Skiing was a success. Zero parking tickets acquired. One swim check. Zero seals seen. That sounds like a pretty good beach day or beach morning. Okay, if you've been following along for the past couple days, you've heard me kind of like briefly mention um, I'm taking a flight tomorrow. So one thing we have to do later in the video is pack my stuff because I literally forgot about that until right now. I was going to do it tomorrow, tomorrow, but I got up at the airport by 9 a.m. I got like five alarms set. So I'm not going to pack tomorrow morning. It's a bad idea. I'm going to pack today, which is a better idea. And the good thing is about this flight is I just did my online check-in. We got a window seat. That's the best. Um, well, I kind of like, I like the window seat because you got a good view. Like, I'm going to be going over mountains, so it's going to be cool to see the view. But I kind of like the, I like the aisle seat. You get more leg room. You can, like, throw your leg in the aisle. So, I don't know. Window seat would be good, though. Better than the middle seat overall winning there. But, I'm going to tell you guys, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys at the end of the video where I'm going. I was debating whether I'd tell you today or tomorrow. But, um, yeah, I'll tell you guys today where I'm going. I'm not going to leave it up to a crazy surprise. But tomorrow's airport day is going to be a little little hectic because I've never done like the parking thing by myself. I've done it with friends and family. So I got to figure out how to park the van. And then I also don't know where my gate is. The, uh, the online check-in didn't tell me where my gate is. So I have to find that. And then also, if you don't add your boarding pass to your Apple like wallet thing, you don't you're not doing it right. It's planes will never be easier than adding your boarding pass to your Apple wallet. It's the best thing you can possibly do. So definitely do that. At the spot that I've been staying for the past three nights, there's been a van or like a, a truck parked underneath the bridge, like right beside where I'm at. And it says it's like pest control, but I was looking at it today. I'm like, man, you've been there for a long time. Like I haven't seen you do any work. So now I'm kind of thinking, I had this idea a while back of like, what if I put like a construction company logo on the van and then I can just park wherever I want. I think that's what that guy did. Cause there's no phone number on his uh, truck. There's no nothing. It literally it says like, terminate Canada, pest and like bug control. I was like, dude, 
I think this guy is just parking up and living there, which is like kind of smart because pest control is something where it's like no one's going to question that. And mostly because it's gross. Like if, if, if you see pest control, you know there's something disgusting in the area. So you're going to you're gonna kind of back up. You're not going to question nothing. You'll be like, okay, this guy's cleaning pest control. Also, if it's like plumbing, the person who works there might be like, no, nah, we don't got plumbing issues. It works. But they may reconsider if there's a rat. So I don't know. Just saying. I think that guy might be camping like me. Just a thought though. I was just chilling at McDonald's for like give or take two hours. Probably probably only like an hour and a half, but I was getting my like legit work done using their Wi-Fi and stuff. Because it's hard to park in the city and McDonald's is the one place I can park and luckily I've been able to get this one parking spot every single day I've been here, so like three days. And it's the only parking lot spot that fits the van comfortably. So I've been able to get it every time, kind of works up, I show up, that person leaves. It's been great. but. One thing that I've been thinking about, I thought about it yesterday and I thought about it again today. Condensation. So there's like water on the edge of this cup. Condensation is just teleportation. Water goes inside the cup. Two minutes later, it's all around the outside. Can't just phase through this thing, buddy. That's teleportation. So don't be talking about, oh, but it's the air molecules from the air. It's teleportation. It's cooler. Think of it when it's more fun. Think of it more cool. Do the boring science stuff. But yeah, my goal right now is uh, to go to the mall. Mall closes in 40 minutes. I'm parked at McDonald's, which is connected to the mall, so I'm not going to move. I'm just going to go walk over there. I think I want to try and buy a new pair of swim shorts. I only wear shorts. Or sorry, I only wear swim shorts as shorts. I don't wear, like, actual shorts, really. Just because I find them... I like the style more. I like to fit more. And then if I ever need to jump in the water, I can do so. So I think we're going to head over there. And I'll probably got some food. I looked through all my my uh my stuff, and nothing's gonna go bad except for one apple, which I'm gonna eat tonight. So I'll probably grab some mall food, get a maybe a new bathing suit, and uh, then we're gonna go back and pack for the trip tomorrow because we gotta go on a flight at 9 a.m. Well, 10:15, but I gotta be there at 9 a.m. Like the mission was failed successfully, so we didn't end up getting another pair of shorts, but I did get a pair of pants. So even though it's summer, I got another pair of pants. But hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. So my thought is, for the past like three years, I've had literally two, sometimes three pairs of pants, and I ripped the one pair, and then like to the point where you can't wear them anymore, and then I got a huge hole in the other knee, so I'm like out of pants. So I got these ones. These are like a new pair. I got them recently for Christmas. And then I got these jeans yesterday or the day before or something. And now I just got another pair. I kind of showed them in the video quickly. They're just like a baggier jean, but they're dark gray. Kind of blackish. I don't know. They're cool. They fit literally perfect. And I feel like they'll go with a lot of things. So next time winter and like fall rolls around, I'm not going to be the dude who wears the same pair of pants every day. I'm going to be the dude who rotates between three pairs of pants. So, upgrades, people upgrades. Also got Subway for dinner. Had to splurge, and by splurge, I mean it was cheap. Oh, also, the pants got a discount. The lady like, could not figure out how to spell my name and like kept asking me. And it got to the point where I was like, I'm done correcting you. So, when she put like my points card or whatever in, I was a new member, so I got 10% off. So, that's a win. But, um, yeah, I got Subway. If you don't get a meatball sub, what are you doing? That's the go-to every time with uh, lettuce and onion. So, all right. The time has come. It's a little later. I'm listening to Crocodile Rock by Elton John. Turn that off so you don't have to listen to the background the whole time because it'll be fuzzy. So, time has come to finally pack. As you can tell, I got a little light here because it's dark. I just shopped around. I don't even know what I told you last. I got jeans. Did I tell you that? Honestly, I don't remember. Got jeans though. Uh, so we're going to pack for the flight tomorrow morning. Got to be up at 9 a.m. I told you guys I was going to tell you where I'm going. I'll tell you after I pack. Uh, but honestly, my plans for packing, I need my laptop. I need my camera. 
besides that, it's just clothes, and honestly, it's stuff that I want uh, the to be able to do laundry in. I don't have a laundry machine here, but I have a laundry machine where I'm going. So, all the dirty clothes get priority, which means like the new jeans, a lot of hoodies, stuff that are big won't fit, because I just have a carry-on. So it's my backpack, and then I'm also going to have like a little a little smaller bag, which I can take with my camera, my phone, my wallet, my passport, all of that stuff. The good thing, which is not so good, is I have to get my backpack, which is like up in there, some somewhere back there. I don't want to, like I told you yesterday, don't want to open the back door because it falls apart. So I'm going to be uh, shoulder deep under the bed. Backpack required. So, my laptop is going to take up a decent amount of space. Oh, wait. It should be able to fit in, like, one of the front pockets, right? Like, this pocket here. Okay. Laptop should fit in the front pocket. So, I'm going to just fill this thing with all my clothes. Zip it up, because they probably don't smell too good, to be honest. You guys didn't need to know that. But, you know it now, so we're just going to, you know what? Anywho, we're going to put all the clothes in there. And then anything else that doesn't fit in there is gonna go in this bag, and then the laptop's gonna go in the front pocket, like I said. And that should be everything I need. We're gonna deal with like the actual laptop, phone, passport, wallet, all that tomorrow. So I don't wanna deal with that tonight, and then I have to think about, oh, is it in there, is it not in there, where is it? Just grab everything like that tomorrow morning. That's tomorrow's problem. Today's only actual objective is close. So, luckily I have my hamper right here, which I don't wanna open up, because gross it's actually gross but nonetheless gross or not we got to do what we got to do right you can't always have fun especially when you live uh, in a van and have restricted showers and water in general i've been getting my water from mcdonald's i don't know if i told you guys that I've just been buying two large waters it's a dollar oh five the lady looks at me every time i buy it she looks at me a little bit like just you want two large waters like, yeah, I want two large waters right both times same lady she looks at me weird both times the second time was kind of like a smirk so okay so you just you're just doing this huh but anyways I get I get large waters because I don't want to go to the store also I can't find out how to go to the store because of this whole city problem that I have so um yeah buy two large waters drink the one fill my water bottle with the other and I, I, moral of the story I should have got like five because I'm out of out of water I have like this much left in my water bottle and I'm thirsty. I ate my apple. Anything left my all I have left is like crackers and that's gonna dry me up. And it's it looks light. It's like nine o'clock, like eight thirty. So not actually that light. Don't really want to go drive back to McDonald's, deal with all that. So we're just gonna be dehydrated. That's the game plan. Anyways, I keep rambling. Let's um do I even show you? Do you care to see me pack it? I'll just show you when it's finished and packed, right? That makes more sense. It's it's just a combination of, of shorts, t-shirts, underwear, maybe a pair of pants. I'll probably just wear it and socks. So I'll just show you when it's done. The packing's gonna be boring anyways. You probably don't want to see that. Anyway, let's just do that. Yeah, this packing thing isn't exactly going as I planned. So over here, I put all like the dirty stuff in like the like mesh part, but I put it in a in a plastic bag so it would mask the smell. Because it actually did smell, which was gross. It was mostly just sweat, like sweaty things. I had a real, the, the hike that I wore, the, hike, the shirt that I wore on the hike, covered in sweat, never dried. I just threw it in there. So that just kind of ruined everything. But I realized I just wear the same clothes every day. I, I wear like three shirts and three shorts. That's it. This is, so this is what I got, right? I still got loads of room here. That's like, that's like three to four inches of height still. So I don't have near enough stuff to pack, which is like, I guess a good thing. It would kind of suck having too much stuff, but not having enough makes me feel like I'm not doing enough. But I don't wear, like I have, let me, let me show you. I have more clothes, right? Up here, look at it. Wow, more shirts, wow, more pants, wow, hoodies, wow. I have more clothes. I just don't, I just don't wear them. And they're not, they're literally not dirty at all. And it feels pointless to bring them. So I guess, like, I'm thinking I could bring a hoodie. I'm just going to wear pants and a hoodie tomorrow, so I have pants and hoodie if I need it. I could bring 
another shirt, but I don't need to, right? Like, I guess I'm just going to pack light. I guess I can throw my laptop in the main compartment. I don't have to worry about being over the limit, over the weight limit, if that's the thing. I don't know. So, every time I've gone on a flight, it hasn't been a thing, so I'm not too worried about it. But honestly, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to bring that stuff, and that'll be it. I have more clothes. But I don't need them, so... Might as well keep them clean. Here. And we'll clean those ones uh, where I'm at. And then have all clean clothes. Well, as you can see, fully packed. Ready for the flight tomorrow. So, this is going to be the airport fit. Jeans. And a backpack. I'm getting kicked out. I'm not going to be allowed on the flight because no shoes and no shirt. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm actually fully packed, which is cool. I'm chilling. Probably just gonna hang out for the rest of the night, maybe watch a movie, get the editing done for the video. And where I'm headed is home. I'm gonna be home for the week. I'm gonna spend time with my family, but I'm also gonna go into the United States. So I have to bring my passport with me and I'm gonna fly home. Uh, instantly gonna get picked up by my mom. We're gonna go into America. We're gonna camp for like two nights. Then I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what like small town living is like as like a, a younger younger guy so it'll kind of just be filled with like beach the mall we're gonna paddleboard down the river I'm gonna hang out with my best friends it's gonna be a cool time it's gonna be a fun time so i'm super excited for it and uh yeah it'll be a good time so just gonna enjoy summer around my small town so should be cool should be fun it's the end of the video i guess there's not much else going on so as always Thank you for watching. Thank you for making it to the end. If you like, subscribe. And you have one life. Make it a good one.